All right, what's going on, guys? It is Glake back with my second Core Reacts for this weekend. This is Core Reacts number 58. And uh, we're doing some POD today. Playable on... I can't even remember the name. I can't even remember what the name stands for. It's, is it playable on depth? Or is it playable on death? I literally can't even remember what the D stands for anymore. But regardless, we're doing some POD. Uh, the band that I used to call Pod way back, <laughs> way back when I was in middle school. Um, man, these guys take me way, way, way back uh, with their satellite. I think it was a, their satellite record. And um, when Angel was it when Angels and Demons or like when Angels and Snakes or Serpents Dance or something like that. One of one of those three. Um, those two albums, man, dude. Pod was crazy on repeat back then i'm talking back in the very early 2000s like 2008 2007 2006 2005 around that time um yeah i i definitely uh definitely kind of have a history with these dudes but since that since that period of time haven't really heard much from them i know they've been dropping music um you know every now and then they had an album that came out i think it may have been 2015 or maybe it was like 2014 or 2016 one of those years they had an album that came out that i felt like was mostly i think it was like mostly it wasn't hip-hop but it was like more it was like more hip-hop rock sort of centric and they've always sort of been like that but i felt like that record in particular sort of so, kind of shifted the sound a little bit more in, in that direction more in the direction of hip-hop than rock that's how i remember it maybe it wasn't all like that but um that was pretty much the last time i listened to them so that was like 2015 so i mean at this point that was closing in on almost 10 years ago it was like eight years ago so it was it was quite a while ago so i have not heard from these guys since i saw that they were dropping a new track um this week and um i also saw that seventh day slumber was also dropping a track this week Another band that I used to listen to a lot of in middle school. Another band that was pretty cool. They had, they had some bangers. I didn't love all of their stuff, but they definitely had some really cool tracks back then. And I was like, dang, which one am I going to react to? It's, it's got to be either P.O.D. or it's got to be Seventh Day Slumber. P.O.D. is the one with the proper music video. And y'all know I prefer to react to tracks with like actual music videos, not just visualizers. So I chose P.O.D. for me uh, listening to this today. This is featuring Randy Blythe. Don't know who that is from Lamb of God, apparently, um, based on the description. I don't listen to Lamb of God. Um, I think they're like a they're like a death metal band, right? So, I mean, this is probably going to be a pretty heavy track, I would imagine. It's called Drop. Let's see what uh, 2023 POD is up to. I'm curious to see what their evolution has been like, because like I said, it's been almost a decade since I've heard them. But, uh, yeah, willing to give them a shot once more. Let's jump into this. Here we go. Oh boy. Oh boy. Hola amigos. Nos alegra que estés aquí con nosotros. Interesting intro. <laughs> Gracias por su atención. Con amor. Bienvenidos a Veritas. I forgot, aren't most of the people in the band like Hispanic? Oh snap. Okay. I like that there's some melody in this. Yes. Okay. All right, this is a feature. Okay. Was that it? Drop, 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 drop,
Oh, okay, nice breakdown. I like this. I like this. screams going on in the background nice touch nice touch okay very interesting track um nothing completely out of this world i would say i think uh this is meant to be sort of like a bounce around sort of track not really meant to be super depthy lyrics are very bread and butter it's just i don't know i don't want to call it a filler track hopefully y'all don't flame me but it just kind of seems like it's just uh almost like if there were club tracks for uh, if there were club tracks for metalcore or metal music, this would be one of them. I guess you could say this is technically just like a radio track. Like, this is something I would probably expect to hear on the radio, which is completely fine. Um, anything to get their name out there even more. I mean, these guys have been around for forever, so I feel like most people know who P.O.D. is to at least some extent. Even though they only have 315k subs, I mean, I guess that's a lot, but... I feel like they should be in the millions, man. For how, for how long they've been around, I definitely feel like they should be in the millions. But who knows when their YouTube channel is made. Um, yeah, it was an okay track. I don't know. I feel like this guy's blowing it out of proportion. Um, I definitely feel like it was pretty. It was a pretty simple, basic track. But uh, it was fun nonetheless. It had some melody in there. Um, yeah, definitely sounds like... Um, I don't know. I, I just don't feel like this is a... I don't feel like this is a good track for me to really get a good taste of where they're, they're currently at with their sound. It sounded like this was like, especially at the start, it sounded like it was way more, it was way more leaning towards like that sort of hip hop vibe almost. But, um, I guess you, I could say like that rap vibe, but, um, you know, it, it had some, it had some heavy parts. So I don't know. I feel like I need to listen to another track by them to get a better idea of like where they are. Maybe something that's a little bit more lyrical. Um, so I can get a better idea of like how they're structuring their more lengthier tracks and their more complex tracks. Because again, this one seemed a little bit simplistic and uh, just a little bit basic, just fun, basic tracks. So that's pretty much my thoughts on this one. But it is nice to see that P.O.D. is still around. Like I said, dude, these guys are these guys are legends. These guys are legacy. I mean, man, they've had they had some of the coolest music videos, man. Uh good i think it was called like goodbye for now or something like that uh what wait what was that that's that was part of the course but i'm trying to remember what the actual track name was was it oh it was goodbye that's so funny i said it and it's right there yeah the music video was called this i had on i had this track playing i've played this track i've had to have played this track like hundreds and hundreds of times like man this track is, I mean, if I had to list, if I had to list, like, 50 tracks for, like, the end credits of my life, like, in the end credits, if I had 50 tracks to list in the end credits for my life, Goodbye For Now would 100% be in there. It has to be in there. For how many times I played this, I think it was 2010, I had this on repeat all the time. So, like, yeah, I, I used to listen to P.O.D. like crazy. I love a lot of their old stuff. Um, and yeah, I, I hopefully, um, you know, hopefully some of their new stuff is a little bit more lyrical like this stuff was, but, uh, I guess I'll have to wait and see, but regardless, I'm happy to see that they're around no matter what. So definitely going to be checking out more of their stuff as they release it. So I'll start paying attention a little bit better, but anyway, that's going to do it for this one, the score reacts. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did make sure you drop a like on the video, comment below. Let me know what you thought of the track yourself. Let me know if there is a newer POD track out there that I should give a listen to that maybe, um, that maybe displays or showcases their sound, their current modern sound a little bit more, um, a little bit better, I guess you can say compared to, uh, compared to drop. Let me know. I'll check it out. Um, but otherwise, yeah, that's going to do it for this one. Thanks for watching. Thank you for your energy as usual. And, uh, you know, if you're here for Core Reacts only, um, I'll see you guys next week. Take care.